got both the kayak and the boat with me today, and I'm heading out to Falls Reservoir in Baden, North Carolina, to explore a cave I found over there last year. When I found this cave, I didn't have a light with me, so I didn't go far inside. Today, I really want to go into it and see what's there. Also, when I was looking back at some photos I snapped, I noticed a couple of things I want to check out up close. This thing, either a piece of metal or a piece of wood, and something else laying on the floor that looks a little like an old spearhead. I'm not much of a fall and winter person. I prefer the green and hot days of spring and summer. Today is October the 24th and it's 80 degrees though. And I have to admit the fall leaves are absolutely beautiful. Falls Reservoir is a mile-long section of the Yadkin River, just beyond Baden Lake. It was formed by damming up a rock valley, basically. It's long, narrow, and very deep. A lot of the shoreline is made up of rock cliffs that continue straight down below the water surface. One shore of the reservoir is owned by Alcoa and the other side is a state preserve. So the entire shoreline is beautiful undeveloped wilderness. The views in most every direction are incredible. A kayak or a canoe will get you into some amazing spots here. I came out here today to explore that cave but these rock cliffs are way fun to play on. And I've got all day. The cave will be there. Let's go to the top.
definitely worth the climb. Here's where the cave is. When I found this cave, I only went in as far as I could see with daylight from the entrance, but I could tell it goes on back into the cliff. My biggest concern is what might be living in the cave right now. Raccoons, bobcats, coyote, skunks, copperheads or rattlesnakes, ex extraterrestrial. Those could all get nasty with me in there. If it's extraterrestrial, I'm pretty much screwed. I think I can handle anything else. I just don't want to be caught off guard, though. Could be female extraterrestrial. That would be cool. Here is the piece of rock that looked like a spearhead in the magnified picture. It goes deep into the ground though, so it's not what I thought. The other object is an old weathered piece of pine. I'm listening carefully for any sounds, movement, or growls. It's very quiet in here. That's a good sign. It also smells clean. No weird, wild, or musky smells. That's a good sign. I already see what looks like some old bones over to my left. It's a very tight climb in. If something else is in here, there's gonna be a fight for the door. Mike Day, 629.75. And over here, KW10475. Over 40 years ago. I'm not sure what this is, some sort of another set of bones right here. No, 
This looks like some sort of face. No idea what that is. I can't tell if it's etched into the uh, rock or if it's just coincidence. This is freaky. That's not anything I'm familiar with. The way it's pieced together. And right here is some burnt wood. Charred wood, like from a campfire or something. And the rock up here looks like it's smoke coated too. Particularly this rock right here. Oh, there's some more initials right here. LB 77. smoke chars on this wall too. These are the bones. Some sort of skull. This goes on back right here. And there's some, uh, a bunch of charcoal type uh, soil back in there. And there's more burnt wood down in this little hole right here. bones back up in here and an old uh, plastic uh, bottle modern era after climbing around in here and looking at the floor and the ceiling and finding signs of a fire pit down in crevices on the floor my uneducated guess is this cave was once larger than this, and it's gone through some shifting in the last thousand years or so. It's fascinating to me, and well worth the risk of climbing in and exploring. Who knows what these rock walls have seen over the last few thousand years. Oh.